you see your skin? What the heck? You know, you got the skin of a young man and, and you don't use sunscreen. The other reason not to use sunscreen is we know that a large number of the compounds in commercial sunscreens, not all of them, uh, are actively absorbed through our skin and their estrogen, their endocrine disruptors. And they actually make us store fat, among other things. So please, 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 if you're going to use sunscreens, base them on zinc or titanium, not the usual commercial stuff. I think the other thing that is really bizarre about the sunscreen, I mean, to me, it's it, I consider it kind of a scam because these sunscreen companies came out and filled our heads with this idea that, as I said, the sun is there to kill you. But if, if I'm not mistaken, based on my research, when you wear most commercial sunscreens, I know there are some natural that use zinc and minerals and things like that, but you're actually kind of creating a window on your skin that blocks out half of the sun spectrum, the UVB. And much like you wouldn't want to sit behind a glass window in bright sunlight, it's really damaging to your skin. And there are, in fact, um, to my understanding, some studies to support the fact that you're much more likely to get skin cancer when you filter the UV light in such a way. So it's like the sunscreen thing to me is very backwards and makes very little sense scientifically. But it it's, seems to be a profitable product because people don't like to get sunburned, nor do they want to get skin cancer. Yeah, people don't want to do the work of building up a solar callus. And long before sunscreens, all of us were taught by our parents to do the work, to gradually increase your sun exposure. And I write a lot about it in the book. 